next guest is an Emmy Award-winning writer known for her work on Saturday Night Live, as well as an actress you've seen on AP Bio, Sisters, and Girls 5 Eva. The third season is now streaming on Netflix. Let's take a look. Attention queers of the Ozarks. Her royal thickness is going to be at the musical tonight. Groupies, welcome. Just call me Ho Spice. But don't write it down because it looks like hospice. Ah. Come on, you really think you're going to be swimming in it in Beaumont? as seen in the motion picture Footloose. That explains why there's zero interest on Bumper. Wait, there's, there's a lady. But she's moving fast. Oh, she's on a plane. It's a damn boob desert. Please welcome back to the show, the best of the biz, our very good friend, Paula Pell, everybody. <laughs> Dear Paula. Is this thing flush? <laughs> is this camp or toilet flush? Okay. Now I'll be a lady, because my mom's watching. Hi, Mom. Okay. Paula, I am so happy to have you here. I was also so, so cool. delighted to see this in the New York Times oh. today. A comic scene stealer, six decades in the making. This is an article about you, Paula, and how you've been one of the funniest people in the business for a very long time. <laughs> and, now, and now everyone knows. The word is out. Your secret is out. Well, I'm a recovering Catholic, so any good thing that happens, I'm like, well, here we go. <laughs> yes, I'm getting my diagnosis. <laughs> the uh, Girls 5 Eva, you had a premiere. You guys sung at the Plaza oh Hotel. Oh, my God. We had so much fun. I, you know, usually premieres are very fun, but they're very much like everyone gets really dressed up, and then everyone kind of sits and watches something, and it either does well or doesn't go well. And we got to sing outside in front of the plaza, and it was really, really fun. It didn't go well. No, it went great. <laughs> it went great. Uh, your character, Gloria, is um, this season. It's about second chances. Sort yes. of mirrors your own life a little bit. Yes, it's really art. Art is imitating life. It's like I, you know, I was an actor my whole youth. Then I did many years at SNL as a writer, and then I, you know, got gray and put put my uh, little character actress hat on, <laughs> and I started acting again. So it's been thrilling because I just turned sixty. So I am. <laughs> Menstruating. <laughs> I told you. I told so I you. can we were, wear Paul outfits and I were, like this. Paul and I were talking about it backstage, and I said, I bet she's not. And he was like, <laughs> She seems no. a lot less bitchy. I owe you, I owe you 20 bucks, yeah. <laughs> she you... used to be very mercurial. <laughs> <laughs> so. You, um, uh, you've worked with a lot of actors over the year. I've met a lot of uh, people via SNL. But even pre-SNL, uh, you worked with some uh, up-and-coming stars. You yes, because I grew up in Orlando. At, well, after college, I went back to Orlando. And so I worked at Nickelodeon and Disney. Uh, in, and I always played an adult that wasn't the funny part that would go, Thomas, turn off that radio. <laughs> And then the kids would all do funny sketches and things. Little Keenan Thompson, little, little tiny. And I was like, that kid's going to be on SNL. Yeah. Little did I, little did I know. Yeah. And uh, you also did a, a little bit of work with a young Ryan Gosling. I did. I you, didn't even realize that at the time. You, I just That would have been creepy if you son. had. If yes. you'd walked in and you're like, I know you. I know what's going to happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> But this is a scene, uh, the, the sketch is, uh, it's a Lassie parody. Yes. Where the dog barks too much. Yes, and my friend Steve Pernick's in it. And we, um, uh, someone, I think it was Steve, sent it to me a couple years ago and he was like, hey, get a load of this. And I completely did not realize who my son was in this. So. Um, I'm, we're gonna show the clip, you're gonna see Paula, and then you're gonna see what is definitely Ryan Gosling. Take yeah. a look. Let me see the story of a very special dog. And the most annoying. Lassie, go away. Yes, Lassie. Somebody's trapped in the well again. Okay, thank you. Amazing. Early co-starring role. Uh, you also... He was a hunk then. <laughs> <laughs> you also did some early commercial work. Paul, did you, do, did you ever do, like, bad local commercial stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And bad national stuff. <laughs> 
that in the local stuff. Uh, you know, like, I, we need, we need, I was also everyone like, needs to see this. jumping right to bad, but have you ever also done bad things? <laughs> Um, yes, I did. I you're did. great. In the commercial we're about to show, I want to yes. stress, you're not bad. You're fantastic. No, it's okay. You're really good. You're going to get a big laugh when I show it. Okay. It's a lotto commercial? It's a, yes, bingo scratch-offs. I did a lot of bingo scratch-off commercials. I was Agnes and her organ, and I did it in Florida, Arizona, um, and Kansas, Kansas City. I you think. maybe saw this as a young oh, man. Oh, um, my mind might just get <laughs> ready to be blown. I know. Busy, Busy Phillips freaked out when I showed her the photo of me doing it. She goes, "I watched that my whole job." Like she remembers it. All right, so here's Paula in her Kansas City Lotto commercial. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and bingo. That's really annoying, isn't it? But what better way to introduce new Kansas Lottery Bingo than through the miracle of song? No, we, we didn't have a TV. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd say you lost your virginity to us. It was a, it's a very short commercial, Paula. Yes, it is short. Oh, by the way, if you want to go back to losing my virginity, it wasn't a marathon. Listen, you're amped up on that night. You're amped. Up, yeah. You're ready. Your dad, I remember my dad said, it's gonna, it's, look, it's, don't worry. It might take the time of one scratcher. <laughs> um, you would like to get back in the game, the commercial yes. game. I, I mean, I, I would like to get back in the commercial game because I have figured out a way to go completely gray and still keep the quality of my hair. Yes, it's And I'd beautiful. love to be like the spokesperson for silver hair in these very sexy commercials. So um, I'd like to, over? yeah, let me okay, give you a little of it if anyone's watching from a hair company. Oh, I think I have a little prop. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. Hi. <laughs> I'm narrowly known TV <laughs> and film star, Paula Pell. When I'm walking through the streets of Manhattan, I usually hear two things. Wow, that's a big head of hair. And wow, that's a big ass. <laughs> that's because I always use tops and bottoms. <laughs> hair and butt volumizer. Shake it, baby. <laughs> Uh, thank you for taking the time, uh, you know, ahead of time to really work on that label. <laughs> you also um, uh, accomplished theater actor. I, I mean, I would say mildly, but, but I, I've done a lot of theater before I did SNL, and I love it, and it's my favorite thing, and going to Broadway, and it's just my great bucket list dream to, to someday be on Broadway before I die. And you, uh, you maybe are working on some new stuff. I am. I tried to call Lin-Manuel uh, Miranda, and I did it via Siri. So I got Lenny Mandel's verandas, <laughs> and I had to buy a veranda, which was very expensive. They're very Well, expensive. that's the rule at Lenny Manuel's verandas, is if you call, you've got to buy one. <laughs> you've got to buy one. So um, this is, uh, I haven't developed a lot of it yet, but it's about a 60-year-old woman that leaves her husband and goes to Broadway to try to, you know, comes to New York, uh, no place to live, and just tries to make it on Broadway. Okay. And so I'll give you a little piece of it that I've written so far. Should I stand? Yeah. Should, okay. <laughs> I, I actually, I, I, I talked to Paul. He would like to be framed for this. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you get a guy to stand up. <laughs> I don't know what I'm smelling. I love this gritty city. The secrets that it's telling. A rat crawled on my titty. <laughs> All I need are the stars above and a little pluck and someone to love. <laughs> and a little bit of pizzazz. And a little bit of pizzazz. Pizzazz is cocaine. <laughs> Thank you. You guys will be right back with more from Paul and Paula.